to the flamethrower. <laughs> it kills all the Rona with fire. Because that's how we do it. Good morning. Good morning. It's been a bit, good ain't morning. it? It's been a bit. Hello. Good morning. It has been a bit. I know. You know, but we, I don't know where y'all been, we, but we had this like COVID thing going on. Did y'all know? Y'all, a big change did, in Did you hear life. anything about, did you hear anything about that COVID thing? Or was that just in Florida? Because <laughs> They say we. They worse. say it's just. They, they say it's just Florida. I I don't know. I th- I think. I think but, you know, just like a lot of people, we've had some some disruptions. You know what? In our schedule, in our household, and that kind of thing. Yes. Uh, but we're back, and uh, we want to talk a little bit about how you know how it's been the past few months, and we want you to um, to write in the comments uh, how it's been for you the past few months. Uh, we're gonna take a little bit different format today. Um, we live in a different world. Oh, things 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 are a little different now for sure. Um, things are a little different now. It, it, it's it, not bad. I, I just think I, you know. I always think it's about what you're going to accept as as different. You know, I we talk we talk all the time, and a couple of the phrases that that I just won't accept. I won't accept the phrase "new normal" because there's nothing normal about how we're living. Uh, I won't accept the phrase "we're all in this together." Uh, when it's when, different statuses. When people are telling people that they should turn their neighbors in for stuff um so we're not in all, all in this together i want to i want to accept that um so there's a couple of things but let's, anyway let's not get too political well you know no <laughs> no that's not no no hardly political but i wanted <laughs> I, I wanted to talk a little bit i wanted to, i wanted to talk with them and 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 you guys a little bit about how it's been um debbie started working from, you started from when did you start working from home um like the Third week in March or so, something like that. Yeah, and I and I, and I started working from from home just a, probably a week or so after that, probably. Mm-hmm. And um, and when schools closed at spring break, our son, who still is with us, you know, he was home too, and he unfortunately he wasn't working because he does school photography. He so works he wasn't with working. the school system. So uh, he works while they're working. So mm-hmm. so so the, 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 so we were all. In this eleven hundred foot square home, every day, together, all day long, uh, every day, every day, and and it was great family time. Yeah, but we still had we, but but you still had to maintain a schedule, right? Yes. So because 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 we because we were we were both still working. So, um, thank the Lord. Yes, and I want to say grateful that didn't miss didn't miss it. You know. We, we didn't miss any income. We didn't miss a no. check. Uh, and I know a lot of people did. A lot of people, you know what, didn't have a check and they got furloughed and, and it was really hard in the unemployment system. And some people are still going through Yes, that. yes. We, and it, so we don't take that lightly. No, it's, no, that's, it was a big deal. That, it's that, a big deal. That we could, you know, we could continue to work. Uh, that both of our jobs made it, made it such that we could work from, from here. Uh, I worked from right here, as a matter of fact, in this place where <laughs> this I'm sitting now. Is his from office. from this chair. I work from right here, uh, and so and and we're, and we're grateful. So I wanted to ask them, and, and because I want you guys to comment too, what was the biggest change in not going in um, to the place every day? Um, not having to drive every day. That that's a, a big thing, and not that I drive a long distance from where I work or anything like that, you know. For the, but it, it's a big change not having to to get up and and get dressed and do all of that, you know, all the. Th- I still do that, but it doesn't take me thirty minutes <laughs> to get to work. It takes me a minute to get to work. So yeah, that w- that's, that's a, a big, big change. change. Yeah, and. Uh... Yeah, my my commute, because of how our you know how our area has grown, uh, used to take twenty minutes. Now it takes an hour. If I don't leave at two thirty, I won't get there at three thirty. So, 
And that was a change. That was uh, the idea that I didn't have to go anywhere. Uh, but I still had to, pre- you know, but it was, it was funny. You still have to prepare mentally. To, like, to switch over to that. Even like, though you're still in your home, you have to mentally prepare to switch to work life. Yeah, you know, and I know, yeah, I, and we see a lot of, you know, what YouTube videos that people are working from home. But I we never see them actually working. <laughs> we see them cleaning and we see them organizing and we see them dealing with children. Setting up office. And we, and we see them <laughs> set, set, setting up their office. We see them, uh, you know, homeschooling and all this other stuff. But we hardly ever see them working when they say they're working from home. <laughs> I had to be on a conference call. Okay. Any of y'all been on a, on a conference call? You could probably do that with an earpiece and walk, you know what, and walk around the neighborhood. I guess that's working. Mm-hmm. But but you're right. That switchover is super important. Um, that you got to say, okay, I'm I'm here in my home, but I'm not at home. I'm actually I'm actually doing my job. Uh, so I've been so my job normally starts in the afternoon and goes until it gets dark. In here, I take a bathroom break, obviously, but you got to make that mental switch over. So is is that the biggest difference you think, or are are, are the most, oh, was that the no. biggest was that the biggest hurdle? No. What the was big, the biggest hurdle? The, the biggest hurdle for me because I, I told a lot of people when I saw we were into this about a month or so, I didn't realize how much of a social butterfly I was. I really enjoy communicating and talking with my coworkers. And being able, and I, I, I enjoy hugging people and, and communicating and turning around and, you know, telling a joke and getting back to work and keeping the, keeping the, the mood going at work. And <clears throat> now I keep the mood going here, I guess. <laughs> well, yeah. And that, that interaction, you know, the, the, those social interactions um, that we have. Um, at work make a huge difference and, mm-hmm. and, and I know and I, I know what you're talking about you know uh, I te- you, know, you guys know already know that I teach you know I teach that and clarinet privately and I teach at a place here in, in in the county in the so you teach and you talk to the students and then you go out and you hang out with the teachers for a little bit while you wait and, or the people who work in the place and you get that back and forth and you get that you know, what did you do last night? How to, was your weekend? You, you get to do adult and stories talk. and I, stuff. I, I think it's yeah. similar to when people have children early, and then you stay home, and then you are craving I don't know adult interaction. What do they call it the the water cooler conversation? Well, yeah, you're, I mean you're craving <laughs> that 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 adult in, in, interaction where, and this is different even because you don't get a lot of that because a lot of times when you're working. You're working, and you're just working, and you're not, and you're not interacting with anybody else because no one else, no one else is, is here in the environment. You get a little mm-hmm. bit of that on the bath. I get a little bit of that on the bathroom breaks, but that's about it. Uh, when I when you have Zoom class right after Zoom class, right after Zoom class, right after Zoom class, uh, it makes it really tough to go. Uh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take five minutes and go do something and walk around uh, because you don't have that. You, you just don't have. You th- you would think that you would have the flexibility. Mm-hmm. But you have actually, don't. you actually have less you, flexibility. Mm-hmm. I think, I think, I think, I think that's one of the things that when people get sold, I'm going to work from home. They think they're going to have all this flexibility. But you still are in a place. You got to stay in a place to do that job and be available in case somebody has a question on something that you did or some something that's going on and stuff like that. They may have uh, someone on the phone that needs an answer right then, and you you can't get up and just walk away from what you're doing, and that person needs you. So, so it depends a lot on what your job is in that flexibility. So, mm-hmm. when people people say that they're working from home, and, and then you see videotape of them, you know, out by the pool, and you see them, you know, at, you know, out on the beach, and, and I'm working <laughs> from home. That's that's not been reality, is it? No. And I don't think it's most people's reality. I, 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 and I, really I think don't. working from home, if you are working solely for your company, for yourself. That you can make decisions you about what make, you do? Yes. I think you have more um, authority over where you can be and what and so forth like that. But um, even that... You have to you have to be accountable and, and discipline yourself, or your business is not gonna get 
get off off the ground yeah, you or be can't, profitable can't if you're not... Can't work from home if you're homeless. Yes. <laughs> can't work from home if you're homeless. Um. So, yeah, I, back to your question. I realize that I am a social butterfly and I enjoy talking. And so a lot of my communication, we I text my coworkers and you know, and do my little laughter and send them pictures and do things. I do it that way. That's one of the different things that I do to motivate my friends and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's it it is it is different, um, for sure. And I don't think it's 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 all. And I, you know what? And people and people have 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 said this for a long time, but I don't think it's all what it's cracked up to be. No. Uh, <laughs> what I I mean, what I do, it's it's it it, it is a, again. Super grateful I had a chance to do it, but it's not the way, it's not the best way for me. But, and, but I have to say there are a lot of positive things that have happened for me, um, personally by, by working from home, because I do have the freedom at, at, at lunchtime to, to get a workout in. I can, I'm healthier. I'll put it that way. I'm healthier by being at I'm home. Not one iota healthier. Because I can work out. <laughs> I <laughs> and and my 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 personal walk with with God is closer because I can meditate and pray and you know I when I do take breaks and stuff like that I my breaks are more productive. I'm more productive with my personal uh, life. Um, at home, I know that sounds weird, but well, no, because you know what? When you're in a work environment, that having having those quiet moments are really tough. Mm-hmm. Um, because it's, it, it, cause otherwise, you have to sequester yourself somewhere, and there's no place that's really private. You know, in the workplace, because first of all, it ain't your house. Mm-hmm. Uh, so everybody, so unless you're in the bathroom in the stall, <laughs> they they're, well, I did. There At can't, my job, I did find some little secret yeah, places. Yeah, but, but, but for the most part, there's no expectations of, of you get to have this. No, uh, but not this, totally, because no. there would sometimes people would invade my little private right. place. Well, they, but uh, You just got there first. It was their private place, too. But yes. You, they, they came out and said, oh, you're here. You're here. <laughs> In my place. In my place. In my place. It was their private place, too, or so they thought. Yeah, you know, and and I and I, and I understand that, that 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 was that's extremely beneficial. It didn't start out like that because the first month it was like um, my refrigerator was like, "Are you back here again?" <laughs> <laughs> but I I I hauled the I got in control of it and and I am healthier because of it. Cool. So. And I, I, I've had, I have similar, you know, a, a similar situation, although I don't start working until later in the day, so I had pretty much all day. Uh, it's, it's changed now that we're back. I'm actually leaving, I have to actually leave the house to go to work now, um, which is okay, and which is fine. I, again, I, I'm, I'm grateful to have a job. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I need y'all to, to comment in the comment area. What's the biggest, what is one, I won't say the biggest, but what's one of the stressors during that time? And for a lot of y'all, y'all, I mean, you had, you had mom was home, dad was home, all the rugrats, all all the rugrats were home uh, with nowhere to go. And the parks were, you know, where you lived, parks were closed, the amusement parks were closed. Uh, malls. I mean, the malls were closed. The uh, the community, all the places that the, you go for the commu- outlet, the community pool. Where you know what, in, in you know what, where you live, that was closed. So you know, y'all was in the house, stuck in the house, bored in the house, stuck in the house, bored. <laughs> uh, uh, so what was one? Of, what were the one of the biggest stressors? Because even when thing, uh, and and and, and I want I want to really talk about stress because what. Even things, even when things are going great, they can be stressful. Um, the birth of a child, as wonderful as that, as that is, can, can it, be stressful. is a stressor. Um, a new marriage, no matter how wonderful it is, and y'all swinging off, y'all swinging off the lampshades, is a stressor. Every you know, so anything that is different, a new job, a new job, it could be, it could be your dream job. But it's, it's a stress. stressor. So. 
what was one of the biggest things that you, that you found that was a stressor in all of this? For me? Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Um. Okay. I, I was looking for somebody else in here. Uh. At at first, um, worrying about. You know, because like you said, my son not having a job and not having income and stuff like that. I was I was a little worried about him and how he was going to fare. And as it turns out, he's in a better financial <laughs> status than we are. I did. Yeah, I did. and um, yeah, actually, it worked. You know, the programs worked out pretty good for him. I mean, I mean, and he, and he has a great employer too. Yes, uh, he, so he works for a very great company. And, um, I, I think the unknown for, for me, the unknown, not knowing, you know, where, where things were going to go for a while there, um, how serious the Corona was, how serious, uh, not having a job possibly was how, you know, the the whole situation just, this is something that none of us have, have, have experienced, even at our ages, you know, we're mature people, but we've never experienced. Never been called mature in my life. <laughs> we are mature. Oh, you mean older. Okay, good. We're not old. You don't mean, you mean mature, like well-behaved, that kind of thing? No. no. See, see, I told you. Season. <laughs> We're seasoned people, and uh, so you know, it 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 was just it's just the unknown. Yeah, there were a lot of especially early. There were a lot of unknowns. I, I obviously, I, y'all know nobody nobody really knew what was going on, um, and it seems like this thing was. You didn't know whether it was going to stop. And, of course, we heard, you know, you hear contradictory stuff all day. And everybody, including us, made the very very same mistake early. We tried to listen to everything and watch everybody. And be informed. And try to be informed. And all, you know, and all it ends up doing, doing is making, making you more fearful stress. and more, you know, more confused and, 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 and more stressed. So, And I think that a lot of you went through the, went through the very same thing early. And now as uh, things are playing out, uh, there's, there's a little less, I mean, there's a little less stress, but I think that that on top of, of, you know what, of the, cons- and a lot of, and, and again, a lot of, we were, we are, we are extremely blessed in that, you know, in that aspect, but a lot of you, you know what, who, who thought you were going home for a week or thought you were going home for two weeks mm-hmm. and then it turned into a month and then it turned into two months and three months. And some people haven't gone back to work yet, uh, I mean, gone, I mean, gone back to work and had an, had had an income. Had an income, yeah, um, that's true. Yet, mm-hmm. um, yeah. How I mean, how is it going to work out? You know, what? Mm-hmm. How is this going to affect my future uh, yeah. and the future of my family and, and where, scary uh, thing. where are we going to live and how are we going to eat and all because this stuff? Because at some point you got to pay your mortgage. At some point you got to pay your rent. Uh, Tico is not going to leave your lights on forever. They're not. So, and if we could offer some advice on, on, on that scale, you probably already have this advice. You know, a lot of these companies are a lot, are being very, very lenient right now with people with past due balances and the like. Uh, and I think Debbie will agree, will, will agree. If you can pay something on these bills, please pay do. Pay something. Please do. Please do. Don't, don't take the, the money that you're getting for unemployment and all this stuff like this and buy a boat and go on Amazon <laughs> constantly. Pay, Woo-hoo! call and pay, make payments as much as you can. Yes, they're giving you extensions. Yes, they're letting you go for time. But you know what? Interest is still adding up on all that stuff. And Late fees are still adding up. At, and at some point, the bill will be due. Yes. And it and it it can be it, and and, and it, it could be that that second wave that you keep talking about could it could it could end up being a financial wave in your house. Well, everybody may be healthy, but the financial and the economic no the, the economic damage could be devastating. So, uh, 
That's a little bit of unsolicited advice from me. From us. From us. It's a little bit of unsolicited advice. If you advice. have the money. If you have any at all. If you have the money to pay, just because they give you extensions and stuff, if you have the money, pay the bills. Yeah. Try to keep it. Try to keep try to keep that whole process going because at some point, at some point, someone's going to say the landlord going to come and say the bill. I mean, the rent is due because the landlord, you know, he got bills too. And where you live is one of his bills. Yes. Where you live, the property you live in is one of is one of his bills, and um, and most most people who are landlords, especially if they're landlords of single family dwellings. Most of them aren't aren't filthy rich. Most no. of them are not. Most of them need your rent. Most to of them pay, have another mortgage. Most of them need your rent to pay the mortgage on the place that they're renting to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which I wonder is if that's a, such a smart idea. But eh, nobody asked me. At certain times in the economy, it's a good idea. But right now, yeah, I don't no. think it's such a good idea. But anyway, so again, if you can't if, if you can't pay something towards your bills, our advice is please do that. Uh, and I know that you're probably not. You may have gotten that advice already, but I, you know, I don't see a lot of YouTubers offering that advice to people. Um, what's your advice about trying your best to stay connected to your church or to your faith family? It's very important. Uh, we have been blessed that we are able to have some kind of. Uh, connection with our church we we pretty much stayed within the lines of the guidelines you know for the CDC and all of that stuff but our congregation we were able to meet at different times on Sundays and keep it below 20 people and and have social distancing so we have been able to see our church members and you know social distancing but be in contact but I recommend that you, if you can get on a Zoom prayer line or do something where you can physically see them, um, yes, church service online is good, but you need to be able to talk to people and communicate and pray together and and be on the same accord, you know, um, and keep that line going because uh, it's, there are some churches that have not met for what five months five or months, so. Five months, and I think you know, and and, and we've talked about this, um, uh, you know what, in uh, you know what, on this particular program a number of times that people will become isolated, and it's really easy mm-hmm. if you're if you're quarantined or sequestered uh, to become isolated uh, when you're you know in the house stuck in the house board. Um, that that you that you be, that people are and I, and I think that, that 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 for me I think I don't know if you think it it, it can be a dangerous thing for some yes, people. Yes, it can. The last thing that some people need to need to do is be isolated, and, and the and mind it, just goes all over the place with all kinds of things and stuff like that, and it, an idle mind is what the devil's playground. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if that's in the Bible, but my grandma used to say it. Yeah. Mine too. <laughs> yeah, a penny, a penny saved is a penny earned. That's not a, that's not a scripture either. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's not a the scripture. Lord works in mysterious it's ways. ways. It's it's not a, in the Bible. That's in Hezekiah one three. Not in the Bible. Which is not in the Bible, <laughs> by the way. But you know, I, and 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 I think that that's probably something real important. I, I think that. I don't think that this method of communications is is necessarily the best. Uh, I'm still a fan of personal face to face. Uh, and I and, and even going forward, that's still the best way to go. Uh, I think that I think that, that people are, are there are some people who may be of the mind that this may be how we do everything from now on. That is our this new is normal. Life? No, it's not really seriously. It's not. We need to get back to church. You need to get, you, I think you need to get back to church. Uh, one of the benefits of actually being in in a, in a church with a small congregation is that we were able to divide our, our congregation in, in, in the three services. And uh, where there were no more than actually ten people in the room, including pastor, and we still got to we still got to meet, we still got to see each other. I think that that was important. Mm-hmm. Um, and we did social distancing and the whole nine, and uh, because we don't meet in our own building, so we had to sort of go by what they asked us to do. So everybody took a deep breath and just literally took a deep we breath and it. just 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 do it. 
Um, but I think it's been I think it's been extremely beneficial to how successful I think that we've been as a family come going through this time yes. and and, and, Staying connected and I never thought that family. and I don't know about you I never thought that this we, we would be it's July yeah I never thought this started this started in March and this is July and it looks like it, it looks like it's going to be maybe another three or four or five months of the same the end of the sort year. of stuff going on. Uh, yeah. We were watching um, we were watching Men in Black. And they had the flashy thing. <laughs> we want the flashy thing. Uh, like, if you could set this when back. Once we get back <laughs> out in the world, real, in the world, normal, we want the flashy thing. I want the flashy thing. I want to set it back to December thirty first, two thousand nineteen. That's what I want. Uh, yeah, because I and we don't remember any. I don't of remember this. any of this. Yeah, I've been down the gullet of a uh, of a uh, intergalactic cockroach, and that's not one of the memories I want to keep. <laughs> <laughs> see, I did see the movie, and I did pay attention. I remember the lines. Uh, it's a cute movie. It's a great movie. But uh, sure. that's an, uh, another thing that we've been we've been watching movies. <laughs> yeah, I've been been watching the streams and uh, watching and, and watching some movies that we've seen before. Mm-hmm. We saw. We, I mean, go back to our favorites: Color Purple, Shawshank Redemption. Um, I just think that those are two great movies. And um, we watched Men in Black the other day. They had a Men in Black series going on. I haven't watched the third version. Yeah, it's maybe. awful. But uh, <laughs> one, two, and three right. was last Sunday. So, <laughs> they has anyone shown um, Toy Story? Uh, I haven't seen. Any. See Toy Story. I don't think we have Disney on our no, streaming no, thing. No, no, I don't. We don't have Disney. Boys got Disney, but we ain't got Disney. So maybe uh, Toy Story would be cool, but. Uh, and I, and, I, and I think that that's, you know, that's been part of the thing. Again, staying, connect, staying connected with friends, staying connected with family, staying connected with, or with your faith, with your faith family. All those things have been extremely important to us. Um, and your work family. Check on your work friends. If you're working from home and stuff, um, stay in contact with them. Check up on them every now and then. Ask how they are doing and, and if there's anything they need. Because you just never know. People, like you say, people are inside, you know, suffer, suffering out there. And they just don't want to say anything. And, you know, because, you know, they figure so much else is going on. Nobody cares. Well, and they don't want to seem like they're whining. Mm-hmm. You know, they don't want to seem like they're whining. Uh, yes, because at least they have a job. And at least, you know, what they... They have food in the house, and at least they have all this. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that they aren't hurting. That it, sure you don't have needs that need to be met. It doesn't mean that they aren't aren't. It doesn't mean that they aren't afraid. Um, it doesn't mean that they feel isolated. Especially if they live alone, and you know, they're not. They don't have a close knit family or something. You work work family is their family, mm-hmm. and they're missing that. So you have to think about things like that. A lot of times people are, they're close to you at work, and then when they don't have that. <laughs> yeah, they just get turned off like Disney animatronics. Wait, mm-hmm. waiting, for everybody, waiting for everybody to come back. And that's not a good place for everybody. It really isn't. It goes back to that being isolated again. Um, sometimes for some folks, just being able to show up at work Offers like some accountability for them. Yes, uh, that, that that some people may may jump off the deep end if they don't have that accountability. So, yeah, you're right. Check on check on your work friends. Call them up because um, you can call them and not get the rona. Mm-hmm. I know what they say, but you can't get the rona from from a phone, <laughs> even if it's five G. <laughs> you can't get the rona from a phone. Uh, call them up. Check on them. See see how they're doing. Spend some time talking with them. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to get out of here because we're getting to the end of the um, of, of, of our time limit today. We're gonna limit, yes. limit our time. Um, and, it, and other things that change. My hair. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't go to the hairdresser during Rona, so uh, I feel like my hair suffered, and so I <laughs> I took care of it. Yeah. 
This and, that, and and that's new. You know, we didn't. No, we didn't have somebody come over because. No, I didn't have anybody come in because we ain't got it like that. I just that. did this what last week. Last week when I when the the hair the barber shops open. uh, opened here in Florida, and I know, I know y'all Florida. I know, I know. I know. Shh, ain't nobody talking about that. But um, they're yeah. very the, the the they do a very good job with social distancing. Everybody wearing masks. All of the stuff she cleans up whenever somebody leaves and all. They're she's a fl- she's a flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> it kills all the Rona with fire. Because uh, that's how we do it in Florida. Cool. Look, we're but I, I had to address that because I know people notice. So. Oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that, that makes sense. I'm embracing my gray. Yeah, me too. He's been embracing it. I don't really care. That makes a difference to me. I've had gray when I was, since I was 16. I don't care. I'm just glad I got still got a little bit of hair. Not much, but a little bit. Okay. we got to get out of here and make room for somebody else. So, again, thank you ever so much for coming back coming back to the channel. We really appreciate you. Um, we will be back, I don't know when, hopefully more on a regular schedule as, as, as things Mondays. lop along. Um and we'll see because everything. Sunday nights might be our night. It may be. It may be. Maybe we record on Sundays and we'll, we'll have to pop this up there on Monday mornings for you. But in any case, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, if you've got questions, if you're going through something, uh, you can always you can always you know message us, and I, we may not have an answer. We might not have an answer, but at least you'll have um, you know you have somebody who cares. Who cares to talk what you you're going about, about what you're going through? And we can some, go through it together. And somebody, you know, and somebody who who who'll pray with you. So e, 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 at least you have that, which is a lot, really. Um, so anyway, we got to get out of here, and make it for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness' sakes, so y'all take care take of yourself. Care. We will see y'all when we see y'all. And remember that we love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. There you go. Peace. Peace.